What's up everyone, Kuru here from my Tennis HQ. Hope you guys are doing great. And today we're gonna have a little bit of a different video. I'm gonna try something out. Uh, as you guys saw from my recent short that I posted, I got to play with my good friend and number 73 in the world, Marcos Giron. Um, he was my teammate at UCLA. He's a national champion as well, individual. And we went out and we love practicing together. We went out and played. Uh, he was cool enough to let me film everything and what I want to do with this video is to show you the practice um, and kind of narrate what we're doing, why we're doing it. Uh, I think a lot of people are curious about how you know top players practice. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to break it down. Uh, what we did on the court, it wasn't like a very technical practice. We just hit some balls, played play points. But even then, I think there's some things that amateur players can pick up and add to their practice routine. And I'll do it just watching and reacting to to the practice as well so i'll just be sitting here uh, watching on my ipad the practice and i will every time i feel like i should step in i'll say something and we'll keep things moving so there will be a little bit of hitting down the middle uh some point plays like baseline games and then we'll play close to set we didn't really finish the set but we played about nine games um those that will be fully unedited you can see all, all the points that we played um, so it was a really fun experience, so thanks Marcos uh, for all our subscribers. Uh, Marcos has had a tremendous last 24 months, finally climbed to, to top 75 after you know having hit double hip surgery a few years back. So uh, he's earned this, uh, so make sure you know next time he's playing, probably at the Australian Open, you follow him and you support him, uh, and maybe follow him on Instagram and you know just support you know the guys that not just the top guys, but the guys that are just getting there and you know getting the recognition that they deserve. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps us, and you know we're seeing a tremendous growth right now, and we, we super super appreciate that. Uh, it's really really making us excited to put out more con content for you guys, um, and also visit my tennishq.com. Uh, we got a lot more articles there, and follow us on social media at my tennis HQ on Instagram, at my tennis HQ underscore on Twitter. And enough of me talking. Well, I'm gonna start talking as well. Well, let's just jump right to it. All right, so just starting to practice here. Uh, with Marcos starting with like a little bit of mini tennis. Uh, some people like doing that, some people like don't. You know, there's not, not really the right answer. I always like starting with mini tennis, Marcos as well. So it's nice and easy brushing the ball feeling getting the, getting the muscles going so nothing nothing special here we're just through the middle starting to move our feet backing up keeping that ball in play back back to each other but yeah you know if you like mini tennis highly recommend it you can always work a little bit on your on your acceleration you're brushing the ball things like that controlling the ball as well so you know up to you if you want to start through the middle or not but we through mini tennis I mean but we like to do it. As you can see here, Mark is already moving his feet a lot, working on working on his on his split steps. Everything is just uh, you know in a very good rhythm. Um, he's really trying to. Uh, make his stro strokes nice and long in the beginning uh, not not adding a lot of power but getting good displacement good extension with his strokes really feeling the ball creating that nice shape up and down landing the ball deep so something to work on you know as as an amateur sometimes hitting down the middle it's don't start so aggressively but try to you know make your make your strokes really really long uh, really get feel like you're extending your shots uh, in the beginning. You don't necessarily need to hit too hard, but just feel like you know you're really you know using all the muscles all over your body um, when you're hitting through the middle. It's a good way to like kind of start your practice. Now, if you notice, as we're hitting through the middle, uh, obviously, 
for us hitting down the middle isn't the most difficult thing. So what we do is we we try to play a little bit of with with our strokes, like play with the spins, you know, hit some balls a little bit higher uh, with more top spin, hit a few flatter shots, hit some slices. Um, we're just kind of like getting a feel for every stroke instead of just, you know, hitting the same ball over and over through the middle. We're just kind of playing around, getting, getting, you know, our hands and, and, and arms nice and loose and, and making sure we are just experimenting, feeling the conditions, feeling how the ball is moving you know, when you add a lot more, more top spin or when you're hitting a little bit flatter, when you hit your slices, just kind of like getting everything warmed up. And I think something that you amateurs can do is when you're hitting through the middle, it's not just hit through the middle, but it's like, okay, I'm gonna hit a, I'm gonna hit a few with a, few, a little bit more top spin, a little more height. I'm gonna flat some, some of them. I'm gonna crush some balls. I'm gonna slice a little bit, just play around, get a feel for, for the ball early on in the, in the practice. See Marco's here, uh, you know, pounding some forehands and being a little more aggressive. You can see he's really using his his legs, his hips to to, to create power. Um, that's what you do sometimes, do a little bit of office, offense defense just through the middle. So someone is just kind of holding the ball a bit more. The other guy is just teeing off a little bit. So uh, here in this rally, you can see Marco's really playing around with the shapes, backing up a little bit, hitting the ball higher, then taking the next ball a little bit earlier. Um, just really doing everything. So again, through the middle, try to always be creative and, you know, feel the ball in many different ways and not just necessarily um, just hit with no really real purpose. Control the direction, make sure you, you, you know, you, you're playing with the shapes, some a little bit flatter, some slices, some topspin, just so you get a, a good feel for every single shot. Okay, so for the next part of this practice session, we did a, a little drill where, you know, you have to feed cross court. The first ball needs to go cross court again, um, but after that, it's kind of open. You can change down the line at any point uh, during that, and from that point on, you, we play it out. Um, now, why we do this? Instead of just going out and hitting cross courts, uh, we like to be hitting with the possibility that I can go down the line and he can go down the line it allows us to kind of stay honest and not just like sit on the, the forehand corner hitting cross courts. And another another good thing about it is that it just recreates more of a point situation where the ball is moving around the core, we, we aren't just sitting on a corner uh, hitting crosses. Again, uh, we kind of have the quality to kind of skip forehand going cross courts. I think a lot of players just get on that groove of like, I just want to hit a lot of crosses and feel the ball a lot. But at the end of the day, uh, tennis is always mobile. You're always going to play points uh, with mobility, moving around the court. And and if you just get too used to hitting the ball uh, from a stationary position, it can be a little tricky uh, for you to actually perform well when you're replaying points. So this is a pretty good drill. Uh, we play a lot of points here, so let's watch a little bit of that. pass by Marcos. So yeah, again, this drill, very good uh, because, you know, allows us to work on our crossword shots because we need to create quality uh, to earn a down-the-line shot. Um, but at the same time, um, we don't necessarily stay too stationary on the on the corner hitting crosscourts for a long time because that just doesn't really happen too much. Um, in point play and so you as an amateur again i think you guys a lot of times have this bad habit of like i just need to like hit a lot of balls feel the ball and you you end up playing too stationary too for too often and then as soon as points start uh, the time pressure of playing points really gets to, to you so get used to actually playing more points and then realize figuring it out what is it that is it not working during points? So then you can go out and work. Just do a little bit of opposite. Like see what's working, what's not, not working during point play. So you can actually go out there and practice uh, those shots afterwards.
here we just you know doing the same drill but from the back and back back and corner um, you know same thing feet cross court um, stay on the cross here I, I actually left uh, some of these bad mistakes that we made uh, right now because I want you guys to understand that we also make some bad mistakes uh, we also you know don't play every point perfectly uh, we're always attempting to do something with the ball because we're playing quality opponents so sometimes the mistakes come from actually the pressure of having to hit good balls all the time we know we can keep the ball in play but just keeping the ball in play sometimes is not enough at this level so you actually have to take some risks take some cuts and some bad mistakes also creep in from that Marcos again with a good pass. I, he, he has just a great forehand on the run, so it's always tricky for me to <laughs> go to that corner and go to the net. He has a good back in here by me too. I feel like I had that that opening went for it. Could have been a mistake, but made it. It was a great angle by Marcos. Not a great backhand by Marcos here. Next time you're on the court, just remember, it's nice to play points or make point situations uh, that you see a lot in the match instead of just straight up like, oh, let's just hit crosses, hit down the lines. I'm not saying you shouldn't do that, uh, but I think you always need to add point situations so you're moving, you, you, you get used to playing from uncomfortable positions because otherwise I think people get too comfortable as like, oh, today I was hitting the ball great, I was hitting the ball cross well but like that is that going to translate into point play into match play uh you need to test that out so you always need to be playing points points are very important now after the last drill uh we warm up volleys and serves um i didn't really film that but now we're just going to play some points uh play some games mark is going to start serving here and i think we got to play a, around like nine games in this and all points are in there so i will be kind of narrating as we go here Great start, start by Marcos, opening the court well with his serve, came in because he saw it was a great serve. I uh, took my time away, spacing the court out with the serve. Mistake there, but had the shot to go for it, went for it, missed by a little bit. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. Be okay with your mistakes. Ugh, that is just bad footwork by me, Jesus Christ. Not easy getting getting some points off a top hundred player. <laughs> Took me too long there to get to the net, but it was the right shot. I saw I opened the court. He was going to open with the slice, uh, hit that, hit, hit that slice, and and you know I wanted to get just a little cl closer to the net, so I had an easier volley. Took too long to get to the net, but it was the right play. Not an easy shot. Went for it, worked out, but not an easy shot there. See Marco's really playing around with his stance on the return further back. This is becoming more normal in, in pro tennis. People um, backing up, giving themselves time to return. Uh, I think a lot of people actually talk bad things about that tactic of like, you know, TM Rafa backing up Medvedev, but it's very, it's, it's a very good tactic. You're always going to have a racket on the ball. You have a little bit more time to actually 
you know, make the return long and then get, get yourself in a good position on the court. Back in here to Marcos. Just a little bit of a mistake there, but it was the right shot. That was a good variation by me. Sometimes, you know, you're playing someone who's better than you and you feel like you need to do so much. But there, Marcus kind of took control of the point and I, you know, I sliced and, you know, made sure I had time to recover to, to the middle again. Sometimes slowing things down is good. You don't have to, like, go at it at 100% of the time. Not a good point here by Marcus. Um, both moved well there, but he came up with a good down the line shot. He saw the opening, went for it. Now ah, that's just a bad mistake again. Didn't get under the ball enough. Ah, that is textbook career return right there. Textbook. here to give me a break point chance. See what happens. And there it is. Another, another back and down the line return winner. Back to back. That was good. That was a good way to break serve there. Uh, get myself in, into this, this match. Down 2-1 now. Good return by Marcos. Uh, really heavy. See he backed up. Made that shot really heavy and he was already in good position on the court. So backing up, it's not a bad play. Just mix it, mix it in your game and you'll be, able, you'll be fine. There it is again. Try to change a little bit of the pace instead of going too flat. Lifted the ball a little bit more on the back and, um, and you know, he made a mistake off that. So changing paces, changes, change heights. Uh, don't don't allow your opponent to you know know exactly what you're going to do with every shot. Here, just a textbook uh, serving plus one. Very good. Um, I had the opportunity. Good good second serve. Opened the court. Had the opportunity to go for it. Went for it. Um, sometimes that's what you got to do. Added a little serve and volley there since he was getting comfort comfortable backing up. And another good serve and plus one by me. Good game here by me to get myself to two all. Um, definitely getting a little bit better. I'm gonna try to try to change up a little bit of the pace there. You see, I lifted the ball a bit, but landed a bit short, and Marcus took it to me. Good ace here. Come on, Cabrera. And another good ace. So quick, quick game there for Marcos. Now, down two, three now serving. Ah, got lucky there. Both of us actually played a pretty good point from offense to neutral to offense. <laughs> Should have been that already. See, hit a great ball, end up losing that point because didn't go to the net. Hit a great down the line shot, had an easy volley, had it onto the net, didn't go, end up losing the point. Not good. There you go. Made it to the net come up with something a little more special to beat me at that point so you know if you have the opportunity to go to the net get to the net Marcus changed a little bit of the return position there got closer to the baseline keeping me honest I did did well there opening the court with the backhand a little bit of an angle sometimes you know you need to spread out the court just hitting with power 
won't necessarily solve all your problems. And a good return here by Marcos. Stepped in, again changed his return position a little bit. Threw me off, got the return winner. Good deep slice here. Not a good slice. Ah, that's just a bad mistake. I mean, it was the right shot going there, but didn't execute well. Again, another bad mistake. That gives him a break point. More first serves here. Make too many mistakes on the first serve on the, this game, making my life harder. First serve is very important. Marcus changing his return stance. But I hit a good second serve there. Kind of jammed him. And no first serves. <clears throat> Got away a little bit with that forehand. Wasn't the greatest. Ugh, double fault. See, those silly mistakes. You have the game points and you don't play full out. Well, silly mistakes will get you in trouble. Another mistake that I shouldn't have made. It was the right shot, but bad execution. Good return by Marcos, really deep. Are you back to neutral? Are you in offense? Let's do the net. And puts it away so he gets another break. But see, too many mistakes on the first serve there. Had to play all the points. It was never really fully in control. So down 2-4. Guys also gotta remember at this point, I'm getting pretty tired. <laughs> He's a top 100 player. He can play for five hours. I cannot at this moment. <laughs> oh, that was a good good second ball here. And a good return. Came for it. Paid dividends. Oh, that is just lucky. That is just lucky, Marcos. Serve. Marco has been serving really well. That's a good return by me. Saw he was going wide, took it early. Ah, so the right shot again. He served. My return was allowed me to have that shot, and I just didn't do a good job. It's good serve and volley. Variation a little bit. Keep him, keep him honest. Here another good example of changing the paces during the point, not allowing him to hit the same ball over and over. Did that well on the last point. Good went for the second serve here. 30 love. Felt like he could do that at the opportunity. That mistake didn't move my feet. Move your feet, Karu. And you guys out there too, move your feet. Done better with that approach. All right, five three Marcos. Let's see if he can serve it out. Oh my god, that was just bad decision. Not the right shot, bad execution. Learn from it, Karu. You guys too. Got away that there with that shot. Last one, but I win. Ah, uh, that's not a good return. So many return winners. Just good returning. Ah, oh, that is just too good. I hit that return. You know, I thought I was gonna have a chance to just win or slice down the line. Like, what is that? Come on. Yeah, that's good. That was good. Good point by me there. Good point. Ugh. 
Oh, just tough to lose that point. Played well most of it, but just didn't execute well at the end. Ooh, what a mistake there to give me another break point. And another mistake, and I get the break. We're back at 4-5 on serve. Uh, but unfortunately, I had to leave at this point. Couldn't finish the set. But uh, overall, it was a fun practice session. And uh, I think it's always nice to you know watch yourself play, um, see where, where you're doing okay on the court uh, and where you're not, uh, especially now that, nowadays that you know everyone has like a decent camera on their phones. Make sure you, you film yourself playing some points, see, see what, what you're doing well. Um, and I, th I really like this format. Let us know in the comments if this is something that you want to watch more. Uh, hopefully I can get out there and, and play more sets with like good players and break it down for you guys. Uh, thanks, Marcos, for you know, allowing me to film this. Uh, everyone who's watching this video, make sure you go follow him on Instagram at Marcos Giron and watch his, his, his matches. Uh, he's really fun to watch. Uh, he's also a Bruin. So. And I hope you learned something from watching this, this practice session. Uh, I definitely learned a little bit more about my game. I'm constant, constantly trying to actually improve my, my game as well. I haven't really given up on that yet. So um, this was really fun. And I'll see you guys on the next one.